guys, it's Alexandra from the Masterpiece Studio. I wanted to create a video to show you guys more about our new art and baking novel study adventure all about the last of the really great Wang Doodles. It's a novel written by Julie Andrews Edwards. It's a new novel to me and over the last few months as I have been really diving deep into it to write this guide I have really fallen in love with the story as you can see um, I have a lot of notes and highlights all throughout the story as I was working <laughs> on on this guide I've been getting a lot of questions about this book and I know that not many of you may actually know of this book, but it is written by Julie Andrews Edwards. And I will read the, the, in, the inside description of it so it might help you guys determine whether or not it's for you and your kids. The book is recommended for ages 8 to 12. That's like a great ideal age. Um, our learning pack is for like a wider range. And, but I suppose this would be the ideal. The Wing Doodle was once the wisest, the kindest, and the most extraordinary creature in the world. Then he disappeared and created a wonderful land for himself and all the other remarkable animals the ten-legged sidewinders, the little furry flukes, the friendly wiffle bird, and the treacherous oily proc. It was an almost perfect place where the land, for, where the last of the really great Wang Doodles could rule his kingdom with peace, love, and a sense of fun. Apart from and forgotten by people, but not completely forgotten, Professor Savant believed in the Wang Doodle, and when he told the three Potter children of his search for the spectacular creature, Lindy, Tom, and Ben were eager to reach Wang Doodle Land. With the professor's help, they discovered the secret way, but waiting for them was the scheming proc, who would use almost any means to keep them away from his beloved king. Only by skill and determination were the four travelers able to discover the last of the really great Wang Doodles and grant him his heart's desire. Julie Andrews Edwards, star of stage and screen, has written a unique and beloved story that has become a modern classic. The last of the really great Wang Doodles is sure to continue to delight readers everywhere. This edition includes a new foreword by the author. And I'm really glad about that new foreword. I do mention it in the notebook for you guys to, to read this foreword. She wrote the foreword in Switzerland. And we are featuring Switzerland in our novel study guide, along with many other countries. So the lessons, uh, there's 12 lessons in the study guide, which include um, multiple chapters in the story to be read within that week. We have an art spotlight, multiple arts in some degree, um, music and a country spotlight. We have a nature spotlight and a recipe. Usually that recipe links back to the country spotlight so it is an adventure all in itself and I am really really excited for you guys to check this one out if this book seems like something you and your kids might like to read obviously reading the book on its own is a really great idea I totally suggest you check out the book with or without our guide but our guide will give you even more um, creative expression and even vocabulary. So we, we work on the vocabulary that's mentioned within the chapters that we're reading. And so I like to pick out certain words that might be a little bit more difficult or 
interesting things that really represent that chapter for you and your children to, you know, really dive into the, the meanings of the words. It's interesting um, going through all of the, the words that are in the book is, it's a fun, it's a fun thing all on its own. Um, let me see what else I might want to say. Um, the, the music and the art that I have featured in this study is really, really special. Um, I think you'll agree that these types of classics are really great to learn about. There were things that I, I was um, learning as I was writing this and I felt really inspired and excited and I just I couldn't wait to figure out the next you know book basket list for that section and I was so excited to you know find a recipe that was fun and and good that linked back to the context of that chapter um, or the, the chapter groupings and in this particular chapter, they, there is a picnic that they go on, and so I have, I have um, found a really beautiful French realism painter called James Tissot, and he's a really interesting um, artist all in himself, and he has these beautiful paintings of picnics. And I have included beautiful quotes from the artists if I'm able to find them and I have art appreciation and discussion questions along with these that are included in the student book. Um, so let me just remind myself we're on lesson four so I'm gonna find I'm gonna find it. Lesson four look at that <laughs> what are the odds that I flip straight to it. Um, so there's some more information here in the student notebook that has art appreciation questions for you and your children to, to go over. I didn't want to have so many overlap that you're printing out hundreds and hundreds of pages. So some things are in the student notebook and some aren't in the teacher's lessons. So the art appreciation yeah, I just don't want it to be too much for you. So the way to simplify that with my nature, the music, and the geography was I simplified those um, lesson lessons for you to read and and explain to the children and scan the QR code with your phone or tablet is all in one page. But in the notebook, we have a little more pages for you. So, for instance, here's the lesson all about uh, Debussy. Um, there's, there's the lesson here. There's the QR code. It matches here. It's all nicely organized here for you to jump to while your child has this page all um, in front of him. You can scan the code and listen to the music. Um, I have some fun coloring coloring sheets here. So we see his beautiful photo and we're going to color our own version. It allows the child to be really creative, add color to this otherwise black and white image. I also have it enlarged for lar um, just a larger version if, if you want. And it continues on in that manner with the rest of, of these features. And a lot of these lessons can be adapted um, for older children. Like I wanted to create these notebooks for the younger children. Maybe they're still learning how to write sentences. Maybe they are still really liking to color. Um, you don't have to use these for the older children. Um, I do have a few areas where they are in cursive, but I didn't do them for everyone because the, the book would just be like, over 600 pages or something silly, so I didn't do that. Um, but you could easily adapt what is in this book for your older children by way of simply getting their own notebook and having them 
copy it all themselves and create their own drawings. And so you can use the the guide as essentially as that as that is a guide. And you can adapt the lessons in your unschooling method of your your own creation. So I really hope you guys feel strongly um, that you might agree that it's it's a good thing to follow it to you know to a point um, but then let the learning just take off right so maybe you don't actually get through all of these pages but um, one or two of them spark whatever learning happens and and just you know be, be okay with that and and go with with your children because that's at the end of the day the the most important the most important thing is to follow follow the children's lead and so these are just guidelines um, these are essentially a tool for you and I hope that you enjoy this tool that is here it will help cut down a ton of preparation for you in your own you know unit study preparation because if you're a lot like me and you really like to just create your own unit studies as you read the book naturally you know on your own with your children the nice thing about having the guides already here is that it just kind of gives you that support and so you can continue um, however it is you love to do your homeschooling methods with you could add to this you could take things away you don't have to do the recipes you don't have to do all the art it's really up to you at the end of the day the the main you know the main goal of building your own masterpiece in my opinion is spending that time with your children reading the books seeing what they think seeing their minds um, churning the gears moving their inspiration for being creative being sparked and you are going to win no matter what if you you know can look at look at it in that way so I don't want anyone to feel discouraged if they didn't do all of the guide or all of the worksheets they're they're there just to support you and your children's needs and abilities and you know I hope you guys really enjoy this one again I was I was so excited when I started reading the pages that this guide really created itself very easily and you know I'm just super excited for its release so let me know in the comments if you have any questions or if maybe you want to let me know if you have read this book um, I have I'd love to hear your experiences with it and yeah let me know what you think I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you soon